In this video, we're going to learn how to make a scatter plot matrix in R, both using base R and a package built on top of ggplot called ggally. So we're just going to start by loading in the necessary packages, and we're going to use the mtcars dataset for this. So to do a scatter plot matrix in base R, you use the pairs function, and the first thing you're passing in is a function that's a essentially a list of all the different columns you want to include. So you use this tilde and then all the columns you want to include separated by pluses. Then you pass in the data set. And this extra argument here is just adding a smoother line to the plot. So there'll be a little line kind of showing a general trend. So we'll run this and see the result here. So the scatter plot matrix is essentially just showing pairwise scatter plots of all the different variables you pass in. But now we'll show how to do the same thing using ggally. What you want to do after loading in the package in ggplot, which it's built on top of, you just pass the data to this function ggpairs, then you pass in the columns you want to plot. This last line here is just setting up some different chart options. In this case, I wanted to set the size of the text in the upper half of the plot to size 8 so we can see it better. So I'll run that. And you can see that the scatter plot matrix created with the GG Ally has a little bit more going on with it. So we have the scatter plots in the bottom part of the matrix here, just like we did in the first one. But on the diagonal, we actually have density functions for each of the variables. And in the top half of the matrix, instead of just having a duplicated version of this, it actually shows the correlations for each of the variables. Now I'll just give another example of using ggpairs in a slightly more complicated way. We're going to split out based on the cylinder. So first we're going to change cylinder to a factor. We're going to plot the same variables as above, but we're also going to add a new aesthetic coloring by cylinder. We're also going to just set some extra options with transparency and whatnot so that the plot looks better. You don't have to worry too much about what this is doing. I'm just going to run it and show you the result here. You can see we've made a scatter plot matrix again, but it's colored by a categorical variable this time, the cylinder. So on the density plots, there are three different curves. On the scatter plots, it's colored by that variable. On the correlations, it shows the overall correlations and the correlations within each group. And you also notice that the cylinder variable, since it's been encoded as a factor now instead of numeric, has different plots in all of the cells. So Normally in a scatter plot matrix, you're only passing in numerics, but this ggpairs function can actually handle other variables and do other useful things with them. So in this case, it's showing us histograms, and on this, it's showing us a bar plot, and on this axis, it's showing us box plots. So this function is pretty nice because not only can it show you the normal scatter plots that you might want, but it can also give you some useful plots and information dealing with categorical variables at the same time. 